What's up everyone? I'm Alex Williams and you're watching Fun Again Games. Tonight we're gonna go a little mad as we unbox Mansions of Madness. Let's do this! feeling of dread has fallen over me. The powers at work stretch further than I had imagined. I fear not only for myself, but for the entire world. I know now that a malign force is gathering and must be stopped. What I don't know is how. All right, everyone, even though I am super excited to get this box opened up, I would like to go ahead and talk a little bit about what this new second edition brings to the game. Mansions of Madness, the second edition, is now app-driven. So, instead of having one player play the Keeper, you can all play as investigators while the app does the work of the Keeper and runs the game. The app is required to play the game, but you can find it on pretty much any device, whether you're on a Windows or a Mac PC, or if you want to use it on your tablet or your phone, like this. Also, for those of you who have already bought the first edition of Mansions of Madness and their expansions, this game comes with a conversion kit, which allows you to take your investigators, your monsters, and even your map tiles and include them in this game. Now, with that out of the way, let's take a look. All right, so let's get this opened up. The plastic is off. I'm so excited. All right, let's get this huge lid off. Is. First thing we see is a slip of paper that says stop. What it's telling you is that you need the companion up to play this game. You need it. All right, we have our instructions, which they say you will need to read all of this before you play your first game. You get a really good idea of how to play. It has really great graphics in it. It's not all just words. Fantasy Flight always does a really good job of explaining rules. So the rules reference is what you'll use when anything comes up that you know, wasn't really in the instruction booklet. All right, now we're getting down to the game. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of chipboard here. Lots of chipboard. We have lots of tiles. We'll open that here in a minute, but as you can see, just like most of the, uh, the Arkham games, you can have Quite a few pieces. <laughs> all right, we've got what looks like our character cards here. We'll get a closer look at all these components, but box this guy. Our smaller cards, a couple of decks of our smaller cards. So this is our conversion kit. So this is what we were talking about as far as if you have the uh, first edition, this will make it so that you can play with your first edition characters, your investigators, your monsters, and your tiles. All right, getting down to it, we've got our dice, our action dice. These will be used to do our skill checks in the game. And it looks like all the rest of what we have are miniatures. So we've got our investigators right here. And we'll open that here in a bit. And we've got our monsters. I am so excited to open this thing up and see just what our monsters look like. And of course, all of our bases for our monsters. That's it for what's inside the box. Let's uh, take a closer look at some of these components. First of all, we have 24 map tiles that includes the uh, large square ones and the rectangular ones. We have a stack of both. 
These are all double-sided with completely different images on either side. Great artwork, really sets the mood. I'm very excited to see all the different, uh, different scenarios, different maps that we get to build. Just a ton of gorgeous looking tiles. That's our 24 map tiles. We have 16 explore site tokens. These tokens have the explore symbol on one side and the site symbol on the other. Another double-sided tie that we have are the search interact tiles. You have your, oops, your search on one side, your interact on the other. And there are 16 of those as well. Next comes a staple in the Arkham Horror games, the clue tokens. There are 26 of those in the game. We have 22 person tokens. Some of them are just uh, silhouettes. And then we also have actual art on some of them with their names on the back. And there are 22 of those. Next we have 24 monster tokens. Now these will all have matching figures in the game as well because these will be put in the bases of those figures. Next we have four barricade tokens. Two different types of barricade, barricades, one on each side of the four tiles. And we have four secret passage tokens. Again, two different types of, oh, four different types of secret passages. We now have 18 fire and darkness tiles. You got fire on one side, that will affect gameplay, and darkness on the other side, which will also affect gameplay. We have six ID tokens, each with a different colored rune on them. We have eight wall tokens. We also have four door tokens. One side you have a white door, the other side you have a dark door. All right, now let's get to some of our cards. It's our first bag of cards. Mini card deck. And our second deck. I'm going to split these up real quick. Alright, so our cards here make up a large portion of the game. These are your condition cards. They'll have the tentacles on the back, unless it's an insane condition card, in which case it has uh, some wording on the back that you'll keep secret from other people if you get the insane condition card. These conditions change how your character will play in the game. Very cool. You have 37 of those. You'll also have 30 spell cards. These spell cards will always have uh, words on the back that will help explain what the spell does. 40 common items Again, most of these will have a satchel on the back, but a lot of them, or some of them, will have words to further explain how they work. And we have 24 unique item cards. These unique items will only come by once in a great while. They usually have a lock on the back. Now these two are how you will track your sanity and health in Mansions of Madness. You've got your 40 horror cards, which when taken will damage your sanity, and on the back will do either instant or lasting effects based on what just happened to you. And the same with your health. These are how you'll take damage to your health. Sometimes you'll have to pull them face up and it'll give you either an instant or a lasting effect. These are our investigator cards. And just like the monster's tiles, these will have matching uh, miniatures in the game. You have eight investigators to choose from, and they all have a bit of their story on the back. One, one thing that Fantasy Flight is really good at with these Arkham stories, with these Arkham games, is to, to put a great story along with it. These are the only dice in the game, and they will be used for all of your 
skill checks and some of your damage checks and things like that. They only have three symbols. It's black or blank, an investigation symbol, or an elder sign. It's getting down to it. For our monsters, we're gonna have this big bag of bases. As you can tell, some of these monsters are gonna require some bigger bases. Some will require smaller ones. And some will have slightly medium ones. Now here, big bag of monsters. We will have 24 of these, just like we have 24 monster tiles. We have 24 monster figures. And before we put these guys on their bases, let's go ahead and take a look at our investigators as well. We have our eight investigators, again, eight investigators that match our eight investigator cards. And these guys already have their own bases, so there's no assembly required. You just stand them up and go. All right, time to get a little bit closer look at our monsters for the game. We've got six priests. We've got our four deep ones. We have four deep one hybrids. We have two ghosts, two haunted horrors, two riots with three figures each, one child of Dagon, one priest of Dagon, and finally, our big guys, the star spawn. Wouldn't want to meet these guys in a dark mansion. Also, let's get a slightly closer look at our investigators all the different characters you could be all right one more quick thing is we're going to look through at this uh, conversion kit for those of you that own the original mansions of madness this is going to be your gateway into including your investigators your tiles and your monsters in this edition of the game. This little instruction booklet will tell you uh, how to implement them. But you've got investigator cards. Also you have new monster tiles for all of your original monsters. All right, everyone, that is gonna be it for what's inside of the uh, Mansions of Madness second edition game box. It's exciting and there's a lot of great components as usual. Fantasy Flight uh, really does well, especially with this series. Uh, as with all Arkham Horror games, there are lots of tokens, lots of uh, cards, and one of my favorite things about the uh, Mansions of Madness is that it actually comes with minis that you can play with. This is going to be such a fun game. One of the things that you don't get to see in an unboxing is how cool some of the mechanics are. Like, first of all, in this game, you don't know what the win conditions are when you start playing the game. That's actually part of it. You have to investigate and figure out how to win. How cool is that? Another great thing about this game is the insane uh, condition card. These little cards that when you go insane, when you lose all of your sanity, it actually changes your win condition. So you actually become sort of uncooperative with the rest of your friends. You actually have to uh, do something different in secret. The other, your other friends, your, the other players won't know about it, won't know what you're doing, and that is just one of the coolest mechanics I've ever seen in a game. Last thing I want to cover in this video, because we don't want to make it too long, is actually one of the uh, aspects of the app. So in the app, of course, it drives your game, it tells you uh, when to do certain things and what happens uh, with certain events, but the one of the great things about the app is that is the integration of puzzles so puzzles that you have to figure out in the game are actually puzzles that you do in the app it includes slide puzzles lock puzzles and codex puzzles and I'm so excited to see how well that works with the game once again fantasy flight has absolutely blown my mind with this game I can't wait to get a group of people together and start playing it. I'm going to hook my laptop up to my big screen TV so that we can all see really, really well. And uh, hopefully that'll work out nicely for a, a fun game night. Thank you guys so much for watching. That is it for this unboxing video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is a game I would love to do more videos on. So if you would like to see a how to play video or maybe just 
some clarification on rules, let me know and I'll see what we can do. Remember that Mansions of Madness, the second edition from Fantasy Flight, is available at funagain.com. If you have any questions or comments about Mansions of Madness or about Funagain games, please leave them in the comments below or send us an email at cs underscore general at funagain.com. Don't forget that we are all over social media. Please go follow us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, follow us on Instagram, and subscribe to us here on YouTube so you can get more unboxing videos, more how-to-play videos, and more weekly updates. Thanks for watching.